Hello friends, just wanted to let you know I am back on WhatsApp. My account had been hacked about two weeks ago. Somebody from Diaspora Marketing Solution, a group that I'm in, a group of traders, a group you know that people share ideas on businesses and stuff. So somebody said they're from that group and they're inviting me for a Zoom meeting. And in order for them to send me the link, they have to prove my identity. So they, so that person said, I'm going to send you uh, a code and just read out to me the code and then I'll send you the link. And I was driving at that time. So, and this is the first time nobody has ever done me anything like that. So I didn't think much about it. And as, as soon as I gave out the code, my WhatsApp was logged off. And um, I want to apologize because I know some of you got the text messages or phone calls saying that I have a relative who is sick and I need some money. And uh, uh, people reached out to me. They said, is that you? I said, no, my account had been hacked. So... If you get any messages, first of all, that say that I need money uh, for someone who is sick, that is not true. Just ignore that person, ignore, just block that person. Secondly, if you get messages that they're inviting you to prayer line or business meeting or some meeting um, and because that is the way they are trapping people, that they're inviting you to this. Then they will tell you, just what you do is, we'll send you a code and uh, just read out to us the code to prove your identity. And then you'll be sent the link. Just know that when you give out that code, they, first of all, they have already set the account on the other side to you, using your phone number. And all it needs when you, especially with WhatsApp, when you, when you set up a new account, it will send the verification code to the number that, that the, to the phone that was listed, the phone number that is listed. So if you give out that code, now the hacker is able to assume your identity. They have full control of your account. They will go to your contacts, into your, uh, if you have, a, you are in any groups, they take over the groups, like the groups that I am, that I am in, so the, the hacker was, uh, went and took out every other admin, if I was an admin in that group, and they made the, those WhatsApp um, pages um, that it's only admin can send messages. So when I, like for my case, I was trying to warn people, um, don't ignore any conversation um, that, uh, that you know, is from my account. So that is how they're able to hack and that's how they're able to send messages. The good thing with like with my case, because they didn't know who is who as far as the contacts, they would just say hi. And people who know me, they know that I address people by their name. I don't just say hi. If it's hi John, it's hi Peter, you know, hi Agnes and stuff like that. But uh, I don't just say hi. But because the when they hacked the account, they got the phone numbers, but they didn't have their phone names. So they couldn't be able to address the person by name. So most people knew that, that this is a hacker they were talking to. So I just wanted to let you know that I'm back on WhatsApp. That's why I'm doing a video um, message. You can see my face. You know, this is not a hacker. This is me. And I just want to thank God that I was able to retrieve it back it took a lot of patience and uh, and i want to thank especially a brother of mine called bernard he's the one who sent me a video that um you know this that um, pointed out the steps to take to retrieve your account otherwise god bless you so much